What's going on guys? This is DanBirdie95 and um, I have a very special video right now. Now, um, a lot of you don't know, I just did my Comic Con unboxing, but I'm a huge fan of Funko Pops. I'm a very big collector. Um, and I just got a massive box in the mail. Like, a massive box. And I was on eBay and um, I bought somebody's collection uh, for quite a bit of money. I'm not going to say price. It's probably probably stupid. I'm on a payment plan for it. I'll just say that. But there's a lot of ex uh, not necessarily exclusives. There's a lot of rare ones in here that I really wanted. Uh, mainly, um, I think the thing that made me pull the trigger and buy this uh, the most um, are three things. One is an Amazon exclusive set of the Ninja Turtles, and I don't have any of the Ninja Turtles. And um, the Red Ranger from uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I've wanted him for a long time. I also want the White Ranger. He's not in this box. Um, but I will probably get him eventually, and uh, the, the pop that I want the absolute most, more than any pop, is um, Ace Ventura, because that uh, film is very near and dear to my heart, uh, and he is in here somewhere. Uh, in addition to, you know what, I'm just going to show you guys, uh, there's 38 of them, so this might be quite, kind of a long video, I won't go too much into uh, reviews of each pop or whatever, um, one day I might do a review of my whole collection, I probably have... Uh, close to 40, and I'm getting um, I'm getting a collection of um, Walking Dead pops uh, this coming week for $150. I think I'm getting like I think like 28 uh, 28 pops. They're all Walking Dead, and there's a couple exclusives there too. So I might do a review on those. Uh, but for right now, I'm gonna get into this uh, massive box. I cannot wait to see how their condition because I did get it on eBay. Um, the box doesn't seem to be beat up or anything like that. Thank God. Um, so let's just get right into it. My uh, unboxing of this massive collection of Funko Pops. Okay. I am so excited right now. Just look at it. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, so let's see what we have here first. First, right off the bat, I'll pull this guy out. We've got Hannibal Lecter in perfect condition. That box is in pristine condition. Um, I'm really hoping all of them are, but it's right off the bat, Hannibal and really good paint apps on this guy. There's some weird stuff around his eyes, but I'm not really um, nitpicky with with the paint jobs. And oh my god, yes! Ghostbusters, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, awesome. That is so sweet. And another one in perfect, pristine condition. Great paint apps too. Awesome. Oh my god, awesome. And uh, then we have the dude. From one of my personal favorites, The Big Lebowski. Oh, God, that's so cool. That is so cool. That was a weird way to say, oh, my God, but oh, that's so cool. All right. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. And here we go. Also, perfect condition. It's got a little bit of, little bit of uh, marker up there, but the Amazon exclusive collection of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo. And what's interesting is that um, I do know you can get Bebop and Rocksteady. You can get April O'Neil. Um, I have not seen a um, a um, uh, oh god, wow, Casey Jones uh, anywhere. Um, but on the back here, you see you can get Splinter and Shredder, uh, which I know for a fact are also somewhere in this box. So that's awesome. Okay. Cool right there. And now um, I've got three pop rides. I own none of these. So here we have the Crystal Ship with, um, I don't know, I think he's an exclusive um, Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. Huge fan of that show. I, I don't know who wasn't. Um, but perfect condition. Pristine. So phenomenal. And then we have here, oh yes. 
Oh, yes. Sweet. Um, we got the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. Uh, with, uh, with the Winston Zedmore figure. And he is actually exclusive to this. And in here also, in addition, are, um, every single one of the Ghostbuster Pops. Um, so, I got the whole entire Ghostbusters collection. I am psyched about that. Ecto-1, and then finally, the final pop ride we have in here is the Batmobile. With the 1960s Batman. Very cool. I'm not huge into DC. I have, um, I got the F-Box, uh, the very last one it seems, um, possibly, um, because of whatever drama went on with the F-Box. Um, but, um, I have a Batman, which I bought on my own. Like, I just, like, why not have Batman? I like Batman. I'm just, I'm not particularly a fan. Um, and I have a White Lantern Wonder Woman glow-in-the-dark variant, who I believe is kind of rare. Um, I got that in the F-Box, so that's cool. Um, but all right, let's get these. Let's get these going. These are just all regular Funko Pops. So, first off here we have Chucky from Child's Play 2. Big horror fan when I was younger. Not so much anymore. Um, it's just a little morbid for me. Um, very rarely will I enjoy a horror film, which is kind of weird because my one of my favorite films in general of the past like 10, 15 years is. Um, the remake of The Evil Dead, I love that movie. I don't, I don't know why, because I don't think you can get more morbid than that. Um, but yeah, so Chucky. And then we have Heisenberg, regular Heisenberg. I also have Crystal Blue Heisenberg, the Hot Topic exclu uh, exclusive. I got him on eBay um, before he really heated up in price. I got him like the day after he came out, so I was pretty happy about that. So we got regular Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. And then we have another horror figure, Horror Pop, A Nightmare um, on Elm Street. It's Freddy Krueger. Um, the only other horror pop that I do currently own is um, Jason Voorhees, which is actually also in here, um, along with Jay and Silent Bob. Now, those are the only three figures in this whole box that I already own, which is perfect because my older brother, um, those are like three of his fav favorite characters of all time. I mean, he introduced me to all those films, like, growing up. So, um, I think that'll be a really nice Christmas present for him. Like, give him, give him my Jay and Silent Bob and my, um, Jason Voorhees, because they're three of his favorites. So, Freddy Krueger. And then we have Dr. Egon Spangler from the Ghostbusters. I just want to add, so far, every single one of these pops is in a 100% pristine condition. Their boxes are untouched. This is fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. So there is Egon Spengler. And here we have Butthead from Beavis and Butthead. Mike Judge is a genius. So there we have Butthead. And, um, right, do that one. So... And then here's Beavis, whose box is a little bit, uh, a little dirty right there, and his display plastic glass thing is a little tiny bit damaged, but not really a huge issue. It doesn't look too bad. The box will stand up straight, and I mean, I, he's not, maybe he's one of the more. Uh, rare figures. I'm not sure. I gotta do a price check. But if that's really the most damage on a box, I'm not really worried about it. And then here we have the Joker. Um, I was in a comic shop uh, last week, and I got I found the the exclusive, the Punisher, and they I guess they just buy exclusives. I'm trying to find um, uh, the uh, Blue Tobias from Arrested Development because it's one of my favorite shows. Um, and regular Tobias is right there. Actually, he's in this box. So that's cool because I don't own him yet. Um, but this is just a regular Joker. I came so close to buying the Joker Batman exclusive from um, Loot Crate at that comic shop, but I decided not to. So maybe he'll be there at some point. But regular Joker, awesome. Very cool. More DC comp, uh, DC pops. And uh, to uh, Tony Montana from Scarface. Wicked, one of my favorite films of all time. I think one of everybody's favorite films of all time. It's, it's, it's a classic, um, even though it is a remake. And then here we have Clubber Lang from Rocky. Um, now, I have to admit, 
I'm not entirely familiar with all the characters from Rocky. I only saw the first and second one, and I was really, really young. My dad and I watched them, like, on AMC. I actually own the first Rocky on Blu-ray, and I just haven't gotten around to watching it. Um, but it is a um, it is a film I will really delve into, a film series, because I hear that they, they really are all pretty good. Um, I think one of them wasn't so good. I don't know. I'm not going to comment or speculate. But Clover Lang from um, Rocky. That's cool. That's cool. Here we have The Crow, who is um, another one of my... I mean, I wouldn't say he's one of my favorite characters, but I love The Crow. That movie's phenomenal. I never read... I believe it's based on a graphic novel. I've never read it. Um, I could be wrong there, so don't uh, crucify me if I'm wrong. Um, I know they're working on the remake of The Crow, and it's gone through a lot of issues with like production and everything like that, um, which makes me really sad, but... Um, J Jason Lee? Is it Jason Lee? I think it's Jason Lee. Um, played the crow. He died on the set of that movie. Uh, which is just crazy to me. That's that's insane. Um, but yeah, so, the crow. I talk too much and I'm sorry. Ah, yes! Here we go. Here we go. Red Ranger. Red Ranger pop. Oh my god. So pumped. He is in perfect, pristine, 100% condition. No wear on the box. Oh my god. A little crease right there, maybe. But, oh man, other than that, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, and there he is. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Look at that. Can you guys believe that? I can't even believe that. I can't, I am just overcome with excitement right now. Oh my god. Oh, look at the detail on his little Ace Ventura business card. That is awesome. That is so cool. Oh my god. Oh, and his paint apps are perfect too. Ace Ventura. Pet detective, that is. Yes! Yes. So sweet. Okay. Next, another one of my favorites. I am a Christmas fanatic, and um, the next, like, bout of pops I'm going to get are going to be Christmas ones. The one I'm looking for the most um, of the Christmas uh, category is the elf pop. Uh, Buddy the Elf. I want him so bad. Um, but here we have from the Christmas story, the old man with the leg lamp. Spectacular. I'd also very much like to get my hands on Bunny Suit Ralphie. I'm not so interested in Sheriff Ralphie, um, but I mean, if I saw him in the store, I'd buy him. Uh, so yeah, Old Man from A Christmas Story. Oh my god, I completely forgot. Another one of the pops that I've wanted the very most. It's from my, f in my top five favorite films of all time. Top five, hands down is the Goonies. And here we have a vaulted, very, I mean, not very rare, but he's getting rare. Sloth. I got Sloth. And his box is also in pristine, perfect, 100% condition. Wow. Rocky Road. Rocky Road? Okay. Some, and, oh, another one of my favorite characters from that movie. Another one of them. Chunk. Lawrence. Good old Lawrence. I'll probably eventually get the entire line. Um, Chunk, Data, Mikey, Mouth, and Sloth. I just need those three. Mikey, Mouth, and Data. Awesome. I love that he has his little, uh, I don't know if you can see that. He got his little mole, which is such a nice touch because that's, I mean, it, it is it's just such a nice touch because he's got that mole in the movie. I mean, he, he has that mole. I don't know if he still does. No. Um, all right, and next, I think that's yeah. Next we have Dr. Peter Venkman, another Ghostbuster, Bill Murray, spectacular, awesome. So happy. That, oh, I don't have the Slimer. That's the last one in the line I need to get. And I've seen him everywhere, so I'll, I won't have any trouble getting the Slimer. Peter Venkman. And here we have 
Dr. Tobias Bunke. And his paint apps are okay. I'm usually worried about the glasses. That's why I've um, been kind of hesitant on getting him. Because usually the glasses are a little wonky on these figures. Um, but his seem okay. His aren't too bad. They don't really bleed into the eye, uh, eye paint much, which is really good because I've seen that before. That's why I haven't bought him. But, uh, yeah. So, Tobias Funke. I'd probably say my favorite character from Rest Development, though, is uh, George Michael. Um, I think Michael Sarah played him brilliantly. I love that guy. Okay, and next we have, from Back to the Future, Marty McFly. Wicked cool. There's also a Doc Emmett Brown in here. Uh, very excited. I really do want to get the DeLorean. Um, the, the Funko Pop rides. Um, I wish he came with an exclusive um, Back to the Future figure. Like, um, I think he just comes with a regular Marty McFly. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, but because um, all the rest come with exclusive figures, all the rides. So yeah, regular Marty McFly. Cool, cool. Here we have Master Splinter from TMNT. Phenomenal. Really, really phenomenal. God, that's awesome. This, 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 this buy was just fantastic. I can't even believe what I just got with this box. Here we have, like I said, Dr. Emmett Brown, who's actually heating up in price. He's not cheap um, for a pop. So I don't know if he's rarer or, or what. And my paint apps are phenomenal. He looks great. Wow. So far, every single one of these boxes is like 100%. 100%. I am ecstatic right now. Alright, who do we have next? Ah, okay, cool. I've got a lot of the classic 80s movies figures, um, so it's nice to be able to add RoboCop to my collection. Um, I've only seen the first RoboCop, and I have the entire collection in there on Blu-ray, and I just haven't watched it yet. I bought it one day because it was cheap in the dollar store. Um, so yeah, I might open him up and straighten out his head a little bit. I don't know why it's crooked in there. It looks like it was turned around. But um, it looks like this is an older figure, too. It's really dusty. But even still, great. RoboCop. Phenomenal. Great. And here we have, like I said, I already have him. He's got great paint apps. Silent Bob from... Every Kevin Smith movie. Huge Kevin Smith fan. Clark's Clerks 2. Uh, Dogma. Po uh, pulp Fiction. Ooh. Wow. Uh, Chasing Amy. Um, Mall Rats. You know. So, yeah. I can't even believe I just said Pulp Fiction. Why did I say Pulp Fiction? I don't know. And then uh, Jay. Figured I'd pull him right out afterwards. Um, I I've seen these figures. I got them up in my room. Uh, so, I'm just going to give these to my older bro. And then here we have, oh, sweet, forgot he was in here, see, surprise, Beetlejuice, Michael Keaton is also a genius, and I've heard rumors, um, I actually just saw that, uh, now that's kind of weird, his eyes are yellow here, but they're black on the pop, that's kind of strange to me, but, um, I've heard rumbles that there's going to be a Beetlejuice sequel, which I don't know how I feel about. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, if Michael Keaton agrees to do it, though, with his track record lately, I imagine it's going to be a good decision on his part. Um, maybe because, um, just for fans of the classic, and maybe if he makes a decision to do it, that's a good sign that it's a good script, it's a good story. Um, and it's a good reason to bring back the character. Uh, characters, actually. So here we have Shredder. From Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So now that's the entire Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. The box is a little bit uh, damaged right there, but it's not crushed or anything like that, so I'm not too too concerned with that. And here we have Apollo Creed, who has a price tag. Got him for $9.99. And I know he's actually heating up in price also. He's like $30. He's worth like 30 bucks online. Uh, so Apollo Creed from Rocky. That's cool. I'm really going to try and get that uh, sticker off there. Don't love that on there. So let's see what I can do with that. I think that's getting to the bottom of him. 
Um, regular Walter White, and I do not like his glasses. See how I see what I mean with the glasses? It's like they're like broken a little bit. They're like crooked. Um, the box is in great condition. Maybe I could open up the pop and kind of straighten out his glasses on my own. I might try that. So yeah, regular Walter White. I've been wanting um, him and a uh, regular Heisenberg for a long time, so that's awesome. And uh, here we go again. Jason Voorhees, who, like I said, I already have, so I'm just going to give him to my older brother. His box is perfect. Like, there's no creases. His box is just perfect. That's really awesome. Whoever whoever owned these, the, the guy I bought them from on eBay, um, really, really took care of his pops. So, um, getting down, these are the final three. And we have Dr. Raymond Stance from Ghostbusters. Dan Aykroyd, who's just kind of a lunatic now, but even still, he was good back in the 80s. I <laughs> uh, always loved Dan Aykroyd, I don't know what I'm saying. So, yep. Yeah. go. And then we have Ivan Draco, Drago, I, even Drago, Ivan Drago. I believe that was um, Dolph Lundgren in uh, Rocky, I believe that's who it was. So, even Drago. Really bummed, I mean, not really bummed, but kind of bummed that Rocky Balboa wasn't in this collection. It would have been so cool to have the entire set of Rocky figures. But um, maybe now, now that I have these guys, I might just get Rocky, so I just have the set. And that is it. It's just all packing peanuts now. The very final figure, who I really don't want to end on. I should have saved, I should have saved some, one of the good ones for last, because... Um, like I said, I'm not a DC fan, and this is my least favorite character from DC. Um, it's Superman. And, uh, I really don't like Superman. Um, Man of Steel was okay, but other than that, Superman's just too hard to beat, man. You can't, uh, yeah, oh, he, he has a, he's a weakness, it's kryptonite. You know what, where are you going to find kryptonite? Not easy to find kryptonite. You can't beat him without it. So, you know what, I'm not a big fan of Superman, but even still... He's in there. Cool beans. Whatever. Um, you know, it doesn't upset me or anything. So, that is my entire shipment of uh, Funko Pops. You can see them all right there. So, um, I am just... Uh, where is he? I don't know where he is. I am just so excited about Red Ranger and, um, and Ace Ventura. That is phenomenal. So, um, that is my huge... Um, new unboxing collection of Funko Pop figures. Eventually I might do like a whole entire, like my whole entire collection, which is a lot of Pops. It's probably upwards of 80 now, maybe somewhere around there. I'm not positive. I have to count with all these added up and then the, like the ones I'm getting next week, who I've already committed to buy, I am gonna buy them. Um, but uh, stay tuned on my channel. Um, because I have all my subscription boxes coming in this week. Loot Crate, uh, Nerd Block, Collector Core, um, Hero Crate, which I've never, uh, that's going to be my first one, and Super Geek Box should be coming very soon. So I'm going to unbox all of those, and um, I'll probably do more unboxings because I really like this. Uh, so this is Dan Birdie 95 Really appreciate you guys watching. Um, and uh, have a great day. Uh, okay. I'll see you guys later.